click on the start button or in the search, you type Hyper, it shows you Hyper V Manager. So you want to click on that and expand the window. In the Hyper V Manager window, we have two options to the left. The first one is Hyper V Manager. This allows you to connect to other virtual computers called connect to server. So on your right hand side, you will click connect to server to connect to another virtual computer. And the second one is the name of my computer. To start to create virtual machine, after clicking on my computer name, I can either right click on this computer name and click new and come to virtual machine to create new virtual machine. Or I can click on action and come to new and click on virtual machine to create a new virtual machine. Or after clicking on the computer name, I can come on the right hand side and click on new and then virtual machine and create virtual machine. Before we create a virtual machine to install Windows 11, let us go to Microsoft website and take a look at the minimum requirements to install Windows 11. On Microsoft website, these are the minimum system requirements that we need in order to install Windows 11. So key thing quickly to look at is the processor speed. It needs to be at least one gigahertz or faster. It needs to be two or more core. For memory, you need a minimum of four gigabyte of memory. For storage or hard drive size, you need at least 64 gigabyte of storage. For your system firmware, it should support UFI. Then you need to have TPM or Trusted Platform Model version two. When creating our virtual machine, we need to ensure that our virtual machine meets all of these minimum system requirements or even higher for better performance. In the Hyper-V Manager window, I will right click on my computer name, click on new, click on virtual machine. When the new virtual machine wizard opens, I will click on next. I will put the name of my virtual machine, 11.01. By default, the virtual machine files will be saved in this location. For any reason that you want to change this location to a different location, all you need to do is enable this option, browse, and choose a location that you want to save your virtual machine file. For now, I will keep it on the default and click on Next. The Next screen allows us to pick a generation for our virtual machine. For Windows 11, we require a UFI BIOS, so I will click Generation 2 and click Next. The minimum memory requirement for installing Windows 11 is four gig. So I already have four gig there by default. I will click next. The next screen is to configure the network. I will click this drop down arrow and click on default switch and click next. The next screen is to create your virtual hard disk. You can define your virtual hard disk name, specify a location where you want your virtual hard disk file to be saved, and then change the size of your virtual hard disk. For Windows 11, the minimum hard disk requirement it is 64 gig. I will just keep everything to the default and click on next. At this installation option screen, you have the option to browse to your Windows 11 ISO by clicking the second option and browse to where you have your ISO. I currently don't have the ISO, so I will put it back to the first option to install my operating system later and click next. The next screen shows me a summary of all of the hardware settings that I've configured. I'm satisfied with them. I will click on finish. Now that my virtual machine has been created, the next step is to download Windows 11. I'll minimize this window, go to my web browser, open a new tab and search to download Windows 11 ISO image. I will click download Windows 11 from Microsoft.com. On the Microsoft website to download Windows 11, I will scroll down, download Windows 11 ISO, which is this image. I will click the down arrow and choose Windows 11 and click on download. The next thing to do is to select your language. I will click this down arrow and pick English United States and then click on confirm. To begin the download, I will click 64 bit download. Download of Windows 11 will begin. So I will pause the video, complete the download and then resume the video. After downloading the Windows 11 ISO image, the next thing to do is to right click on my virtual machine and go to settings. Within my virtual machine settings, I want to come to security. So I'll click on security and just make sure that I enable trusted platform module. If you remember, that's one of the requirements to install Windows 11. So I will just click on that. The next thing is click on SCSI controller and click on DVD drive 
and click add. Once you add the DVD drive, now you can click on image file and browse to your ISO image. So I'll go to my download folder, click the Windows 11 ISO image that I downloaded, click on open, click on OK. The next thing to do is right click it, click on connect and will open your virtual machine window and then you can click on start and this will automatically power on your virtual machine. We'll give you a few seconds and allow Windows 11 to load so that we can begin our installation process. At the beginning of the Windows 11 installation, make sure to choose the language that you want to install Windows 11 in, choose your time and currency format, and choose your keyboard and input method. For me, I will keep it to the default and click next and click on install. To activate Windows 11, make sure to put in your product key. Currently, I don't have a product key, so I will click I don't have a product key. The next option is to choose the version of Windows 11 that we want to install. I'm going to install Windows 11 Pro, so I'll click Windows 11 Pro and click Next. At the End User License Agreement, I'm just going to read through the End User License Agreement, click Accept and click Next. At this stage, I have two options to upgrade or to use a custom install. To use this upgrade is usually if you have an existing Windows. So for example, if you have Windows 10 and you want to upgrade, then you choose this option. Currently, I don't have anything on this computer. So I'm going to choose custom install. After clicking custom install, I have the option to either partition my hard drive at this stage or partition my hard drive within Windows. I will just keep the hard drive unallocated and click next. And then Windows 11 installation will begin. So I will pause the video, allow it to install, and once that is done, we will come back and log into Windows 11. After a reboot of the computer, now we have the option to select our country or region. I'm currently in Canada, so I'm just going to go down and pick Canada and go to yes. Using US keyboard, so I will just keep it to US keyboard and click yes. Being asked to add a second keyboard layout, I will click skip. The next thing is to define our computer name or host name, so I will just pull Win. 11.01, click next. At this next screen, I will choose setup for personal use, click next. I will click sign in and I will put my Microsoft account. At this stage, I will create a pin, click OK. You can either use your password to log in or you can use the pin to log in. I will click no and click accept, no, accept, require only accept, no, no, accept, no, accept, or skip for now. Just make sure you read every page of the installation process. If it is something that you want to do, you click yes. If it is something you do not want to do, you click no and you go to next. I will click decline, click decline. I will click skip for now. At this stage, it's just completing the installation. So right now, it is beginning to create the profile for the user that we created at the login. And it will take a few minutes. We are almost there. The creation of the Windows 11 profile has been completed, and now we are logged into Windows 11. This is how we install Windows 11 on Hyper-V. All right, so we come to an end of this episode. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Leave a comment below if you have some feedback or questions. Make sure to share this video with someone who will find the content useful. Until we talk again, goodbye for now.